Can you cut the ponytail? Sell out. Say hi to Dr. Cross for me. Hey, Mr. Freeman. I had a bunch of messages for you, but we had a system crash about, I don't know, 20 minutes ago, and I'm still trying to find my files. Just one of those days, I guess. They were also having some problems down in the test chamber, too, but I think that's all straightened out. They told me to make sure you headed down there as soon as you got into your hazard suit. Gordo, you're on Sundial, and we need you on stopwatch. Hop to it. What are you doing still Security running around officer. up here? Murfin, please report to Office Complex Level 6, Conference Room A. We've been waiting all morning to begin the experiment. Time to make tracks, Gordon. I'm not one for idle chatter, Gordon. Gordon, I'm busy. Get away from there, Freeman. I'm expecting an important message. Are you ready? Gordon, those don't touch that. Calculations again. Quit looking over my shoulder. You're making me uncomfortable. Maybe later, Gordon. Agent Allen. Go use another computer. Administration, sub level two. Weren't you supposed to be in the test chamber half an hour ago? We can talk later, Gordon. Gordon, please, go do what you've been hired to do. Shouldn't you be Just doing a minute, the same? Gordon. They need you in the test chamber. Good morning, Dr. Freeman. Earlier, Go bother someone else. Protection here. system seems to be online now. Those TPS reports have gotten progressively worse. Hard to find good help these days. Yes, about that. We're going to need you to come in this weekend. What? I've already made plans. Don't worry. You can always attend the next convention. This one. That's a finger smudge. I don't know about that, Dr. Truman. Seems to me that he's just spouting Still studying paleomathematics, eh? Just waiting for that Eureka moment. Any moment now. Can't you see I'm busy? Got the wrong airlock, Mr. Freeman. You know I can't let you through here. Hopefully things will die down around here soon. There's been a lot of suits coming and going. Probably Union Busters. Can't let you through. Not with the big brain. Gordon, I'm in the middle of something here. Later, Gordon. You forgot to carry the two. Or was it the three? <sighs> Another improper use of the Boltzmann constant. Good heavens, the buffoon spelled Chandra Sekar limit incorrectly. Gordon, this had better be important. Mm -hmm. I thought not. Later, Gordon. 
I can't be bothered right now. There was someone downstairs asking about you. Or was it upstairs? Oh, would you look at that. Freeman actually did show up for work this morning. Looks like somebody here owes me lunch. Oh, good morning, Freeman. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. There's a pepperoni pizza in my near future. Yes. Sorry, Mr. Freeman. I'm on duty right now. The sample was just sent down to the test chamber. Just a minute, Gordon. Gordon, you know we both have more important things to be doing. Good morning, Gordon. You'll just have to wait until after the test. Give me some space, Freeman. Big day today, eh, Freeman? We can talk at lunch, Gordon. You're living in the past. That experiment is potentially responsible for inspiring my career in science. How much recognition do you think you're going to get for reproduction, though? You should focus on inventing something new and unique. He does have a point. Oh, but this is more than a replication, I assure you. For one, it shows how far our field has come since the original study was published, and to say nothing of the modern perspective necessary to monitor its influence. I mean, combined with today's technology, I've recreated- Bah! I can't stand to hear another word of this malarkey. Don't mind him. But here's something to think about for the next time. You and your sugar-coated airsots are absolutely full of it. Creativity is the art Maxwell's of Maxwell's demon. Influence. It's cold now in let's here. Get back to work. We should at least try to look busy. They need you in the test chamber. I've got this under control, Gordon. Hello, Dr. Cross. Can this wait? Uh, hold, just hold on for one moment. If this is anything less than a full-scale code red calamity, I'm not interested. Please excuse me, Gordon. Please leave me alone until after the experiment. Make haste, man. They're waiting for you down in the test chamber. Morning, champ. Hello. Another day, another dollar. Can this wait till I'm off break? Mm, these double shifts are starting to get to me. I'm at the point now where I have to drink a cup just to go to sleep at night. <laughs> Cheers. They're serving Salisbury surprise in the cafeteria. Again. What the hell? <laughs> you think you can fix the vending machine too, college boy? We will never hear the end of this. Yeah, you best make like an atom and split. Cause uh, that was, um, that was you know who's lunch. Gordon, you've already done enough damage here. Get to work. Why do we all have to wear these ridiculous ties? Triple pleated khakis. Preposterous. And these ludicrous penny loafers. Nobody here has an eye for fashion. Does this lab coat make me look fat? Excuse me, Gordon, but I'm rather busy now. This is going to have to wait, Gordon. I'm rather busy now. Not now, Gordon. Ugh, drat. No toilet paper. Be a dear and fetch me a roll of toilet paper. Would it be too much to ask for a roll of toilet paper? A wet nap? 
A napkin? Anything! Uh, hello? Hello? Could somebody get me some toilet paper? Be a dear and fetch me a roll of toilet paper. If this is anything less than a full-scale code red calamity, I'm not interested. Welcome to the HEV Mark IV protective system for use in hazardous environment conditions. High impact reactive armor. Remember my days in the hazardous environment suit? Of course, at the time, it was Mark III. Excuse me, minor emergency. Be a dear and fetch me a roll of toilet paper. Oh, thank heavens. I'm in dire need of some toilet paper. Just a minute. <laughs> Occupied. Mind you, the base color wasn't so loud. And the helmet wasn't optional or ventilated. There wasn't an integrated waste disposal system either. Count your lucky stars. Have you ever seen those electromyographic sensors in the old biomechatronic Mark I? A marvel of modern engineering. I worked on the underwater breathing apparatus for the suit, but it was eventually discarded. I say... That suit certainly flatters your fundament. Uh, hold, just hold on for one moment. Can't you see I'm busy? Gordon, I'm in the middle of something here. <laughs> You better make like a prom dress and take off. Believe you me, I won't be taking the blame for this one. They've been paging you all morning, Dr. Freeman. Best get downstairs before you cause any more disasters. Just leave me out of this. You better make like traffic and jam. There was someone downstairs asking about you, or was it upstairs? You'll just have to wait until after the test. Listen, I'm only going to explain this to you one more time. If you have a question, that isn't my problem. It's yours. Right. And if I have a question, it isn't my problem. Oh, contraire! It is still, very much so, your problem. Now... Do we have a problem? No. Really? I don't see a cup of coffee with two sugars and no cream in my hand. Do you? No. Well, that looks like a problem to me. How is your novel coming along? 
Can this wait? We can talk later, Gordon. Weren't you supposed to be in the test chamber half an hour ago? Gordon, I'm busy. <sighs> it's getting increasingly difficult to keep the rank and file in check. I'm not one for idle chatter, Gordon. Have to make sure they understand their role in the bigger picture, don't you know? Excuse me, Gordon, but I'm rather busy now. Gordon, this had better be important. Mm -hmm. We can talk later, Gordon. You'll just have to wait until after the test. Right on through, sir. Looks like you're in the barrel today. See you soon. Knock him dead down there, Gordon. Oh yeah, before I forget, me and the boys were thinking about some poker tonight. I'll keep you posted. Man, this job is boring me to tears. Gordon? This is going to have to wait, Gordon. Gordon, you know we both have more important things to be doing. Hmm. I've oft been told my left side was better. My goodness, I'm handsome. We can talk at lunch, Gordon. Make haste, man. They're waiting for you down in the test chamber. Ooh, listen to me rambling on and on about myself. Terribly sorry. Now tell me, Gordon, what do you think of those pictures of... Did you catch that last fluctuation? It's nothing to worry about. We can talk later, Gordon. Now where did I leave that shutdown procedure chart? I'm sure it'll show up sooner or later. 
Please excuse me, Gordon. Just a minute, Gordon. Hmm. We should harness the remaining photonic energy to ensure resonance control. Double check the Brewster's plate's angles and make sure the superluminescent diodes are protected from optical feedback. How curious. The acousto-optic modulators are on the fritz again. Pfft. I assure you, we've compensated for any contingency. Can't you see I'm busy? Can this wait? I'm not one for idle chatter, Gordon. Weren't you supposed to be in the test chamber half an hour ago? I've got this under control, Gordon. What's up, Doc? It's been a mess down here this morning. Have fun. Gordon, this had better be important. Mm -hmm. Give me some space, Freeman. Gordon, I'm in the middle of something here. This is going to have to wait, Gordon. Excuse me, Gordon, but I'm rather busy now. I'm rather busy now. Greetings. I'm rather busy now. This is going to have to wait, Gordon. Greetings, Dr. Freeman. If another instrument malfunctions today, I'm going to explode. Please relax. Things could be much, much worse. Gordon, I'm in the middle of something here. Gordon, you know we both have more important things to be doing. Maybe later, Gordon. Please, leave me alone until after the experiment. Ah, Gordon, there you are. Nice of you to finally join us, Doctor. We've just sent the sample down to the test chamber. We've boosted the anti-mass spectrometer to 105%. Bit of a gamble, but we needed the extra resolution. The administrator is very concerned that we get a conclusive analysis of today's sample. I gather he went to some lengths to get it. Mm. They're waiting for you, Gordon. In the test chamber. Right. Come on, then. I'll walk you down. Eli has been busy making last-minute preparations for the new experiment. Greetings, Eli. Morning, Izzy. I trust this morning finds you well. Gordon, good morning. I'm glad you're here. These last minute changes, they're, they're a bit strange to just. Oh! It's about to go critical. What in the blazes is going on with our equipment? Huh. It was never meant to do this in the first place. <sighs> it's nothing we can't handle ourselves, Eli. Run along, Gordon. We'll be but a moment. Go on, Gordon. We'll take it from here. Don't fret, Freeman. This little malfunction won't stand in the way. Beckrell's ghost! The radiation level is off the charts. Go bother someone else, Gordon. Not now, Gordon. If this is anything less than a full-scale code red calamity, I'm not interested. They need you in the test chamber. You know, this is far from the glory 
had envisioned as an undergrad. How so? I've got two PhDs and an Ersted medal, yet I find myself doing work best suited for an intern. Please, you do very meaningful work here. Really? Push that button. Walk over here. Push this one. Stand and stare at the screen. Walk back over there. Push another button. Again. Come now, you're overreacting. <sighs> I don't know how much longer I can abide these perfunctory tasks. I need more time for myself. Ha! Huh. Don't kid yourself. You wouldn't know what to do with free time if you even had any. That tears it. I'm going to check with the office upstairs and see how many vacation days I've accrued over the past 25 years. It's high time I took a break from all this. Certainly. But before you do, activate the electron multiplier and report the reading from the micro-channel plates. Later, Gordon. We can talk at lunch, Gordon. We can talk at lunch, Gordon. Later, Gordon. Can this wait? Uh, hold... Uh, hold on for one... Make haste, man. They're waiting for you down in the test chamber. Gordon, I'm busy. You'll just have to wait until after the test. There was someone downstairs asking about you. Or was it upstairs? This is going to have to wait, Gordon. You'll just have to wait until after the test. Gordon, I'm busy. Uh, hold... Just hold on. To I'm not one for idle chatter, Gordon. Oh, there you are. Everybody's been looking for you, hombre. No time for cold feet, Chief. Step right up. You, you've come all this way. Ah, here he is. I'm afraid we'll be deviating a bit from standard analysis procedure today, Gordon. Yes, yes, but with good reason. This is a rare opportunity for us. This is the purest sample we've seen yet. And, potentially, the most unstable. Now, as long as we follow standard insertion procedures, everything will be fine. I don't know how you can say that. Although I will admit that the possibility of a resonance cascade scenario is extremely unlikely. I just don't feel... Gordon doesn't need to hear all this. He's a highly trained professional. We've assured the administrator that nothing will go wrong. Yes, you're right. Gordon, we have complete confidence in you. Well, go ahead. Let's let him in now. The higher-ups will have our heads if we delay this experiment any longer. Once this is all over, you can slip out of that HEV and get back to the real work. Paperwork. Lots and lots of paperwork. Are you waiting for something, Gordon? He's just savoring the moment. One day, he'll look back to this as the beginning of his illustrious career. There's no need for performance anxiety, Dr. Freeman. Of course not. You're a seasoned pro by now. You're just postponing the inevitable. Just go on and get it over with. Catching the opening night jitters, Gordon? Can't say I blame you. Don't worry, Dr. Freeman. You'll do just fine. Testing. Test.
testing. <clears throat> Everything seems to be in order. All right, Gordon. Your suit should keep you comfortable through all this. The specimen will be delivered to you in a few moments. Now, if you would be so good as to climb up and start the rotors, that way we can bring the anti-mass spectrometer to 80% and hold it there until the carrier arrives. Gordon, are you not hearing me? Climb up and start the rotors, please. Very good. We'll take it from here. Power to stage one emitters in three, two, one.